Welcome to experiment 2 for Physics 101. This experiment is about projectile motion. The purpose of this experiment is to investigate the trajectory equation for the projectile motion. The setup includes a steel ball, a curved track, a wooden board, a meter stick, an A4 paper, a carbon paper and five drawers. Let's talk about the theoretical knowledge you are expected to be familiar with before performing this experiment. A steel ball is projected horizontally at point B and falls down due to gravitational acceleration. Assuming that the effect of air resistance is negligible, the path of the projectile will be a parabola as shown in the figure. The motion along x and y axis are provided in equations 1.1 and 1.2 respectively. Combining these two expressions will enable us to obtain the equation of a parabola passing through the origin in the xy plane. Your aim is to find an experimental value of h, which is the vertical distance between a and b. For being able to do so, you need to rearrange equation 1.3 and obtain an equation for h. So, let us watch the video prepared for the experimental procedure. The first step is to open the fifth drawer and determine the position of the track in such a way that the metal ball falls into it. Having achieved this, open all the drawers and make sure that they are aligned with each other. Mark the position of the track as shown. Measure the horizontal distance from the point you have marked to the edge of the table and record it as x0. Then, measure the vertical distance between the point the ball leaves the track and the surface of the table. Record it as y0. Now, measure the distance from the edge of the table to the end of the drawer and record it as L. Please record this L in lowercase. Calculate capital L, noting that it is nothing but x0 plus lowercase l. Place the board, A4, and carbon paper respectively into the first drawer and release the ball. Once it hits the carbon paper, a mark will be left on the white paper. Mark this point as point 1. Repeat the same procedure for all the drawers.
Now, measure the horizontal distance from your first point till the bottom part of the A4 paper as illustrated. This reading should be recorded as x1 prime. On your lab manual, there exists a table for raw data. The x values that you will record there will be equal to capital L minus x prime. Of course, you must keep on repeating this for all the drawers, which means that x2 is equal to capital L minus x2 prime, and so on. Place the board back into the first drawer and measure the vertical distance from the board to the surface of the table. Record this as y1 prime and evaluate y1 by adding y0 to this y1 prime you had just measured. You must repeat the same procedure for the rest of the drawers. You have now reached end of experiment 2. Good luck!